Hello, I'm Maurice Dimba and I'm here again with the development and cutting details of various standard sizes of castellated beams. And today I will be giving out the cutting details for the 457 by 191 in, uh, castellated universal beam. Now, we'll get started right away and to access the tool that will be most appropriate for whatever you want to do is accessible through the applications and component uh, section here now i'll mouse over this last button here and click on that and just type here you search for the macro that you will e will make your work easier in this case you are going to use this macro castellated beam now i'll just type and prior to finishing what you're writing a particular structure will try to predict um, several several macro that start with the same word and uh, bring it forth and uh, actually this is what we have in place now I'll just double click on this macro and this dialog box will appear and this is just a preview of what we you expect and uh, I'll snap right on that spot and stretch all the all the way to that spot and uh, right click and come to right click and uh, click interrupt to terminate that command now I'll just double click and come to position here and uh, I'll change I'll, I'll put it I'll pull it up to to the zero level or to the top of our grid by picking on the, uh, at depth so I'll pick on front so this front option will bring it up right like that and I'll, I'll go ahead and click apply and give it a, no a node by clicking an OK button right there now you can see these lines overshadowing uh, the cutout for for the castellate for the castellated beam now I'll just refresh this by clicking redraw to get rid of everything now if I double click here I'll be able to access this dialog box and this is where we'll be doing our, all our settings or we'll feeding all our parameters for the standard size of of castellated beam of 457 by 199 now we'll get started right away and uh, we'll target this end now this end for this uh, for this size will feed here will feed here will feed here about I mean 457 will fit 457 here 457 right here then we'll target uh, from this end to this end will feed here one 132 132 132 right there then now uh, on top here that's not 132 132 will feed 132 here so we can just copy that can just uh, uh, select everything and feed it here we'll feed it here 132 and also and uh, on top here we'll feed on top here we'll feed 115 115 and here we'll feed 66 uh, 686 686 right there just delete everything 686 right there and uh, right here we'll feed 191 191 right there so the part remaining is between this this section and that section so that one we can leave it as that then click modify apply and accept that I'll right click and redraw so I'll try to check these dimensions uh, on from top from this from this end to this end. Uh, I think this should be should be around 379. So I'll snap right there. I'll snap on top right there and snap right here. That is exactly three 379. Actually, that's exactly what we wanted. And uh, let's confirm on top here and come here and snap right here and that is 115 and 
this end to this end we'll just check that and snap right there and I'll move all the way to the bottom end here and that one 457 at the height of our beam right here this should read 686 right there 686 perfect now I can just double click here and these uh, these are the measurements that are ideal for the four 457 by 191 universal uh, castellated universal beam so if you intend to use this this is the cutting out the cut uh, the development and cutting cutting details for the castellated beam of this size 457 by 191 so we want to change this color We'll just double click on the screen and come to representation here then come to uh, color under color we'll click with that drop down arrow and pick on that then click modify apply and give it an okay apply again and zoom it zoom close and this is what we have now so we want to cut this across so what we do we'll come to edit here now under edit We'll close this now because it's, it's now an obstruction. I'll come to points here and pick at any point. Then uh, I'll uh, zoom this close and snap on that spot and bring it down there. I want to use this. I want to transfer these points on the other end. I'll pick that, then uh, pick it from that position and scroll all the way to, to the far end here and uh, just place it right here. So I have the point here. What I'll do, I'll come to polygon here and uh, select on this. Then uh, I'll snap on that spot, move all the way to the other end here. Move all the way to this end and snap right there and target uh, the midpoint of that spot and cut across and bring, bring this to this end and snap right there and go to my initial point here uh, to, to finish my polygon so you'll find this already cut so i'll just right click on the screen and redraw and you'll find out our, our castellated beam has been trimmed off and this is how it will be cut and this is how it will look so these two will will make uh, a component will we'll make a development of this kind then be welded at the center now now i'll select that then i'll come to copy then i'll pick it from that spot let me just pick it from here and take it all the way uh, to this end i'll place it right there i'll select that come to move special and i'll use this i'll feed here maybe five five hundred and take it slightly up right there perfect now I'll close this I'll right click and redraw this now I want to rotate this uh, to uh, rotate this uh, to opposite direction so, so that I can join it together with this so that when we do the welding it, it will be joined uh, to be connected perfectly well with uh, well through uh, I mean by weld now I'll select on that then uh, I mean prior to uh, to turning this to opposite direction we need to check our XYZ uh, position well, now we have to reorient our X, XYZ plane Sele select on that and I'll place our XYZ into that position and select on this right click and come to special move or move special and come to rotate now this port this end this point to this point will be our rotation line so we'll we'll turn around this line or this point here from this end to this end at this angle 180 so i'll snap on that spot then click move and click ok so it has turned on the opposite direction and uh, i'll just pick on it and click move then uh, i'll pick on that position and turn it and join it up with this one here perfect i'll right click and click redraw 
so we've joined this together now if you take a look on our xyz plane it is on a wrong position and we need to take it back to a default position so we'll just pick on that and snap at any point as long as it is on top of our grid so this is how it look now what we want to do now is uh, just to weld them together i'll come to i'll come to applications and component and type weld here and come to stanchion then uh, weld this to this and give it time to process that information and uh, weld will be completed if you see this green uh, conical shape this is a symbol of a macro uh, a welding macro which which indicates that the connection is perfectly well and right in the position so to check that just double click on it and you'll be able to see the dialog box of a, a weld so this is how it looks now i'll close this then i'll right click to get rid of that symbol now if if i go ahead and press alt and select on that you'll be able to see only one part getting selected so i want to add this part to that uh, to, to that part to make it as a full assembly so i'll select on this then right click and come to assembly and add it here first as a sub assembly then come back again and do the same thing add as assembly then try to check whether it is it it is an assembly i'll do it once again I'll try to check the assembly. I'll add it once again. So briefly, in brief, this is how it looks and this is how you can make your castellated beam look like. And this is the setting for this particular size. So this these ones are currently used and this is probably the standard size uh, uh, ca cutting and development details of this kind this size of a beam now let me just come back here or just double click on this uh, to bring this dialog box so that you can you can be able to see the cutting details here this is how it looks if you want to use this you can just pick the information right here and you can apply on your cutting details thanks a lot for watching this video and uh, let's meet then if you're new to this channel please don't forget to subscribe and let's meet then